Across the country, we've had to start looking at our systems, our history, and having conversations about injustices that have lingered below the surface. But a few local churches are trying to bring these conversations to the pews on Sunday. Our Sydney Stallworth tells us more. It's called Solidarity Sunday, and it could be coming to a church near you. Local spiritual leaders are challenging churches across the country to start talking, and they're saying it's time to get real about racism. When black people watch George Floyd die by strangulation, it not only was horrifying, but it was familiar. We know what it's like to be in those positions. What we don't know is why our white counterparts don't care. Black churches have historically been hubs for civil rights activism and change, but that has not always been the case for churches of different demographics. Outside of the black church tradition and the few collaborators outside of the black church tradition, most white churches have been silent on injustice and they have a choice to make. I'd be dishonest to not say that it has a long history. It is the reality uh, part of the reality that we're calling on white churches to confront. Solidarity Sunday is all about having a transparent talk about privilege, racial injustice, and a way forward. And they're asking churches to sign their solidarity pledge. It calls for training for church leadership, congressional awareness meetings on systemic racism at least once a month, and the agreement to help move forward an already existing local cause. The Citizen Coalition for Criminal Justice Reform, there are nine asks that they have of the now, Huntsville PD and the Madison County Sheriff's Department that we're going to support and, and take direct action to, to see reform right here in our backyards. The actual Solidarity Sunday event will be on June 21st, the weekend of Juneteenth, but organizers say they hope the movement and the dialogue continues long after that. Putting the Valley first, Cindy Stallworth, WZDX News.